All right. Um, good evening, good morning, uh, good day, or good night, wherever you may be at this time. Um, something that I want to uh, do a review on. Um, um, I've been talking to a lot of steel guitar players, and it seems a lot of the ones that I know have these chairs um, that are designed for steel players. They're kind of like a three-in-one kind of thing, and uh, I ended up ordering one. And I ordered it from, I think, what I consider one of the best companies out there. I call Steeler's Choice. Um, from a guy by the name of uh, Dan Rowland, I think his name is. And uh, you can find his product at www.steelerschoice.com. That's S T E E L E R S C H O I C E.com. Steelers Choice. Um, I first heard about these chairs um, a while back. Uh, like I said, I've got about five or six people that I know that play steel guitar that have been playing these, that have been using these uh, chairs for a while. And so I kind of thought to myself, man, I'd be great for a keyboard player. So today I thought I'd go over the details of the quality of this chair and the, uh, the worksmanship and the uh, craftsmanship that goes into this chair. And uh, I am not... Uh, any way, shape, or form, um, uh, doing this because they're paying me to do it. It's because once I ordered the product and got it, I was so amazed. I was like, I have to do a video on it. So, first thing I want to say is these are not cheap chairs. These are not like your average, oh, I'm going to go buy a $100 stool or, or cheaper. No, these, these things are expensive. Uh, this one cost me $405. That's including shipping. And um, I know it seems like a lot of money, but if you consider how these things are built um, and how long they'll last, you know, it's uh, well worth the money. So let's get into the review. So once again, you can see here is the chair. Kind of looks odd. I'll try to move here so you can see it. Kind of an odd looking thing. But uh, I'm going to show you the I'm going to show you the ins and outs of how this chair works. So I'm going to move this back here. All right. So you can get a better view of what I'm doing here. Okay. So like I said, um, for most. For most applications, I usually use a drum stool, and it works great. But the problem with the drum stool is it's two parts. You know, my drum stool comes apart in two parts, and uh, it's very comfortable, and I love the way it swivels. But I needed something to where I could do a little bit more. So I'm going to explain how this works. So right here, this is the bottom half of the chair. Okay. Um, On the bottom of this, um, you have these legs. So these legs will fold out like so. And one of the first things that you'll notice here is that there's an extra set of like, they look like legs, but these are actually your, stab your stabilizing bars to stabilize the legs. So once you get the legs swung out, you'll pull these in, and they just kind of meet up in the center here. Okay, so now your chair is, and these are a set height, I think he said, uh, oh, I can't remember what height he said these are set at. Um, because for steel players, there's usually a standard height that they use. But it's pretty much the same as a keyboard player. So I'm going to turn this thing upwards. So as you can see, I've got the legs out. So right here on the side, 
there's a little strap on the inside of it, so you can see here. This little strap here. And do the strap. And that basically keeps the, the backrest folded down. Okay. Turn back this way. So there's your chair. Beautiful chair. Very uncomfortable. And uh, this is what makes this thing very unique, though. You'll see I've got some latches right here in the front. And if I pull the seat back, the seat is attached to an inside compartment here. This inside compartment is big enough. Cables, um, whatever. That's the thing that really sold me on this. Is Now, all of a sudden, not only do I have a, uh, a nice stool, but I have something I can carry my uh, my stuff for my keyboard in. I got my for a power supply. Um, I got stuff for my you know I got room for my uh, uh, sustain pedal or any other expression pedal that I need. Any other kind of cables. And this is the <laughs> creme de la creme right here. I really like right here. By the way, I believe this is called an SK two hundred four. That's his model. Right here, if you see that, it's got another little compartment here on the side. The SK stands for Sidekick. The Sidekick is this. Um, but you can choose what colors you want. He's got various colors that you can choose from. Um, this seat is called sand, It's called Sandstone. Um, and then you have... Uh, the, chair, the body of the chair itself is made out of um, is, uh, plywood, but he has used a vintage, it's called vintage tweed, like the old tweed amplifiers. Love this color. It matches my guitar amp that I've got, uh, that I've got in the van that I use all the time, because it's a tweed amp. So, this is what else I want to show you here. Uh, I'm going to turn it back this way. I'm going to mess it up first. Um, if you see on the bottom here, I'm going to pull these legs back out again. You'll notice there's a power cord down here. I don't know, it might be hard to see on the video. But. That power cord attaches, that power cord is to a power strip. So I'm going to put this back down again. So I can bring the chair back vertical again. Okay. We'll turn this sideways here. And as you can see right here, there's a power strip. He builds. He puts the power strips in the chair itself. So on the side here, it's got a six outlet power strip. On the bottom, you saw a little metal piece, basically is what you, you wind the cord up. And then it's got a little thing that clamps the cord down so it doesn't come loose when you're transporting it. So this thing has just replaced three pieces of equipment that I normally carry around the most. And that's my stool. That's a case to carry stuff in, and also my uh, a power strip, because normally I would carry all that stuff separately, you know. But now that I've got all this in one chair, so that's why I really, um, so I really dig this thing, um, because it replaces three different things, and I can go into a gig now. Um, of course, I've got my keyboard and my stand. And everything else, all my accessories and things go inside this chair. And then I just take my accessories out that I need. And I can just easily just uh, unfold the chair, sit down, do the gig. When I'm done, put all the cables back inside of the chair. And uh, I'm ready to roll. And this thing only weighs 34 pounds. So it's not heavy. In fact, I believe this thing lighter than my drum stool. Because my drum stool, the base of it is the heaviest part of it. I think it may weigh just a little bit more than this chair does. But uh, he uses automotive grade uh, material for the top. Um, all of the, uh, all of the uh, 
where he uses um, a covering for the case itself. Everything is neatly trimmed and tucked. There's no frays anywhere. There's no... Um, this thing is made like good quality stuff should be made. Um, once again, I believe his name is Dan Rowland. Rowland or Rowland, I don't know how you pronounce it. But uh, Steel of Choice chair. Great alternative uh, for anybody that uh, wants something a little different. You know, um, made for mainly steel players, but like I said, I'm a keyboard player and this thing is going to come in handy for me. You know, I'll be able to plug all my stuff inside and not have to worry about carrying around a separate power strip. And uh, it's just going to be just one great piece of equipment for me. Um, so I'll show you how it collapses back down very easily. You just take the, seat, the backrest, fold it down. This little strap has a button here. Snap it. Got to keep that from moving. And you just bring this down. And let me get it to where you guys can see how I'm doing this. Okay. So you just push the leg out of the way. Pull the leg down. Gotta love a new squeak sound. And uh, she's ready to roll. There it is. Steeler's Choice. These are range anywhere from about $200 to about a little over $400. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this little um, review. And uh, y'all just keep on trucking and doing what you do. Take care. God bless.